Hello everyone, welcome to the Darkest Ranger Review. This time when we'll be looking at the 10th episode of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, Thrills and Drill. Now, I don't really have a lot to say about this episode, because it pretty much presents everything it has to say for itself. But it was a very good episode. However, I'll still give a pretty brief synopsis. First of all, Scrozzle has created a data chip that can absorb the powers of all three Rangers' special abilities to power up one of the avatars, Blaze or Roxy. Evox is disappointed in the two and has not yet decided which one deserves it. But Roxy does have a plan to get the first go at it. So her Robotron, which is drill called Drilltron, has a brief fight with the Rangers when it's first created, then hides on the ground and seals the entrance to the hole. But Robbie is not doing a good job at fighting. Hell, even early he could hardly spar with the Rangers because he has a toothache, something's wrong in his mouth. That makes him more of a liability than an asset. But he got scared because of a painful encounter with a dentist when he was a kid, so he hasn't been to one since. Now, someone who's had a lot of dental work done in the past few years has a big mistake, Mr. Shaw. Very big. So Ben and Betty try to take him to their family dentist. But he runs out when he sees a giant drill silhouette behind the door. But it turns out it's often not. It's just a maintenance guy putting in a new shelf. In which the real dentist comes out of the door next to it right after he leaves. But he's gone. So he hasn't done it yet. He's too scared to face his fear. Yes, even the great heroic Power Rangers have things that they just can't stand to deal with. This leaves him open to help Nate and Steel. Who deduce that maybe Roxy and Drilltron are beneath the city in the water mains. So they go to check it out, to which we find out that Nate doesn't like the spider webs. He's afraid of spiders. And Nate is correct, they find the two right beneath a Morphex tower. So they start to drill into it, but they get stopped. But not before overhearing the plan to have a Giga Drone appear on the other side of the city to distract the rangers. So Devin and Zoe go to take care of that, while they fight on the ground and quickly bounce up from underground to regular outside. Where they're just fighting each other. And oh yeah, before they confront them, Nate sees a spider calling on him, and and if he screams, he would be blown to cover. So he had to hold his breath, pick it up gently, and just put it on the ground and crawl it away. So yeah, he conquered his fear pretty quickly. Which gives Ravi the motivation to think, yeah, maybe I should deal with the dentist. But not for dealing with this battle. And there ain't nothing too special about the battle. It's back and forth between Nate, Steel, and Ravi. And as Vivi ultimately gets the finishing blow on Joltron with his blaster. The usual affair. It is a nice scene, but it is nothing spectacular. Don't really stand out. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, Devin and Zoe are fighting in their zords because the drill drone is attacking from underground just keeps blasting at him, but they can't track it down. And that's until Vivi is able to make it over and they form a mega zord. And they're instantly able to detect this location and defeat it with the Hyper Strike. However, the day is not a total victory for the Rangers because Ravi did punch Drilltron with his enhanced strength and that power went into the data chip, which Roxy was able to recover and bring back to the Cyber Dimension. And now Blaze has an idea of what to do for the next encounter. What it is, we don't know. And in our epilogue, Ravi is telling the Rangers, Yeah, you just got his mouth done. It wasn't so bad. It feels much better. And he plays a joke on Nate by giving him a fake spider. Now he gives his horrified face, but he quickly turns to laughter. Yeah, I don't think Nate was really that scared of spiders. He just never had to deal with them. <laughs> Cause if he truly had a phobia then, he would still be pretty freaked out. So a nice little joke to end up the episode. For once, not to the expense of Ben and Betty. And that's all for this episode. I mean, it does good, it sets up a new story arc, and we're gonna get to see Blaze in action, because he hasn't really had much screen time. Most of the time, he's just there alongside Roxy, and it's usually Roxy that steals the show whenever dealing with the Rangers. So I'm gonna be interested in seeing what this guy has up his sleeve. And obviously the stakes are higher for both the Rangers and the villains, because obviously the two are gonna compete with each other over this enhanced power, which Scrozzle, being only the brains, doesn't carry it away. He just wants to do his own thing, and that involves helping Evox, so he can not deal with his enemy, as you recall from the beginning of the series. And that's about it. Nice episode, and does good at setting up the next and current story arc. And I'm looking forward to see how it's going. And we'll talk about how it continues next time with Blaze's plan. Till then, this has been Jargus. Thanks for watching, and let the power protect you. It's more than time for justice we find.